In this video, you will learn how to interpret calibration values when installing a new sensor cassette on the ABL90 Flex Plus Analyzer. After you've installed a new sensor cassette on the ABL90 Flex Plus, the analyzer will perform an automated startup that includes various calibrations. If at the end of the startup, the ABL90 Flex Plus has not passed calibrations for all parameters, you can review the actual calibration results by tapping Data Logs, Calibration Log in the top right corner of the home screen. Choose the most recent calibration result and look for any parameters that failed calibration. Take note of the sensitivity of the failed parameter. Go back to the calibration log and open a previous calibration result and take note of the sensitivity of the failed parameter on that result. Compare the two sets of sensitivities to assess if the sensitivity for the failed parameter is getting closer to being within range. Refer to the ABL90 Flex Plus troubleshooting guide for sensitivity ranges. If the sensitivity is getting further from being within range, it is likely that the failed parameter may not pass calibration. In this scenario, you will want to take troubleshooting action, such as flushing the analyzer or replacing the sensor cassette. If the sensitivity is getting closer to being within range, but at a very small incremental change, you may still need to take troubleshooting action. If the sensitivity is getting closer to being within range at a significant incremental change, for example, the sensitivity is improving by multiple percentages with each additional calibration, then there is a strong likelihood that the failed parameter will eventually reach a passing calibration status. You have now learned how to interpret calibration values when installing a new sensor cassette on the ABL90 Flex Plus Analyzer.